Tim Tebow has got a new job at ESPN. Now, he is still hosting on Saturday mornings on the SEC Network. That's standard. But his next media move is going to be, he's going to be on first take with Stephen A. Smith every Friday. It says, the press release says, every week will culminate on Friday with Heisman Trophy winner and SEC Network analyst Tim Tebow and Stephen A. Smith debating all things college football heading into Saturdays throughout the season. In addition, First Take will also continue to regularly welcome signature celebrity guests from across sports and entertainment to the show. They've got Michael Irvin coming in on Mondays. And now they've got Tebow on Friday. They're rotate different guys in. That's the plan. That's the plan. So it says, uh, this new format will pair Smith with new voices and perspective every, uh, every day of the week who will challenge him on their specific area of expertise in a completely new way says Antoine Lewis, senior coordinating producer for First Take. Stephen A., Molly, and a lineup of A-list guests will definitely continue to provide fans with all they've come to expect from First Take and more. We're excited to get going. So Max Kellerman's last day was September 1st, uh, a couple of days ago, and I think that Stephen A. and Tebow will be hard to watch. I think it's going to be difficult. Yeah, I agree. I think Tebow is really good on TV. But let me tell you what he's not going to be good at. Tebow is not going to criticize anybody yeah. at all. So you're putting, like, the nicest guy in the world on TV in a job where his job is to debate. He, he, his, his only job is to debate someone who has no problems crushing folks when it needs to be crushed. And, and I don't think Stephen A's a joke. I don't think Stephen A's a hack. I think Stephen A's pretty good at what he does. It, you know, he, he has strong opinions. I don't know that I've ever had Tebow have any strong opinion on anything except for his faith. Yeah. That's it. And at some point in time, if he's going to go up there and he's just going to say every team is great, every team is well coached, every team deserves to win, then it's going to be awful and it's going to be unwatchable. And now, is it a good move by ESPN? Yeah, because we've talked about it before. I think they're dying to get the conservative viewer back. And Tebow... Moves the needle. Yes, very my, much so. My, my problem is, is if you put him on a show where he's bad, does that move the needle? I don't think so. I mean, First Take does have a, a rather sizable audience, but yeah. but are they going to stick around? And I do not know the answer to that. I have no idea because I, I, I just think that Stephen A. will will absolutely eat him alive in these debates. I just I don't know that I've ever seen Tebow really debate anybody. You know, he and, and Marcus Spears used to get into debates, but it, it felt so, one, it was one-sided. Two, it, it felt a little bit staged, usually. Like, Tebow had to be told, like, hey, you have to take this other side. I wonder how staged this is going to feel every Friday. I'm, I'm going to have to watch some of it. Taking, taking a side is one thing. Actually, taking a stand on things is another. Agreed. What I see him doing is 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 Stephen A is going to crush someone, and he's going to take the other side by defending and propping up that person or that team. And this is what we're going to get. That's not over necessarily over. definitively disagreeing. That's not taking that team. It's you know in in the Ohio State you know Minnesota game. It's Stephen A just saying Minnesota's going to get destroyed and they have no chance, and it's going to be Tebow saying nice things about Minnesota, and then that's that's going to be the debate. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I, I wonder if this will be them breaking down games heading into the weekend, and and that's the way it rolls. So I don't know what to expect a whole lot other than what you just said, and we'll see if maybe they try and, and do something a little different, paint Tebow in a different light, but uh, but this is going to be interesting. Interesting to see. So, I mean, good on Tebow for getting a, another gig because I think well, this there was be no good. doubt ESPN was going to get him on TV. That's a, that's just a smart move. Yeah, I would put him on a studio show. I just think he's better in the studio. He's, oh, he's so much better. But all Saturday, and maybe he doesn't want to do that. Maybe he doesn't want to live his entire Saturday afternoon in ESPN's office somewhere. But I would, you know, how they go back to the studio and they've had the same. Excuse me. They've had the same like two or three guys that kind of rotate in and out of that place forever. Joey Galloway has done it for a long time. Like just different dudes have kind of sat in those spots. I would have him do that, but he doesn't want to move to Bristol or or live every Saturday of his life in Bristol. So that's probably not happening. Yeah, and I mean Saturday morning he's going to be 
on the road with the SEC network anyway. So, but what I'm saying is, is he's more valuable in that other spot uh, in the studio than he is on game or whatever SEC's version of game day. SEC is. Nation, I think. Yeah, yeah. But because that studio show, they're going to you at halftime of every game ESPN is doing. So, yeah. so you got you got basically like nine hours of Tebow instead of two hours before kickoff that nobody's watching because everybody's watching game day. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.